Caught committing a crime may be in prison longer if a Georgia bill passes. State senators advanced a bill this week, and Ashlyn Webb is in studio with more on the debate over those harsher punishments. Yes, Frank, the governor and other Republicans are pushing their tough on crime agenda by introducing a bill that would lock up criminals for longer stretches of time. This bill would make it mandatory for anyone convicted of a gang crime to serve a five year minimum on top of their sentence for the other crime. Several district attorneys in the state have already supported the bill, including D.A. Wright Barksdale from the Okmulgee Judicial Circuit. Any piece of legislation that's going to give us more teeth uh, to attack the issues that our communities are facing. We certainly want to be in support of that. One of those issues Barksdale is referring to gun violence. He says in Milledgeville, part of the area he serves, drive by shootings are a problem. I will tell you that the majority of the drive by shootings that we saw and have experienced are gang related. Barksdale says the other problem, kids recruited into Georgia's gangs. If this bill passes, gang members caught recruiting minors could face a harsher sentence. The bill would tack on a mandatory 10 additional years with no possibility of probation or parole. They're now recruiting children that are in middle school. And by the time they're in high school, they're full-fledged gang members. Typically, it's a 17 or 18-year-old kid recruiting another 17, 16, or 15-year-old kid. That's defense lawyer Frank Hogue. He, like other opponents, says this proposed penalty would end up being used against 17 and 18-year-olds who are recruiting younger teens. Prisons are not places where people rehabilitate. They're crime schools. People go to prison and they learn how to commit newer and better crimes. But supporters like Barksdale say the goal is taking the gang population, no matter the age, off the streets. My intention is, as I'm weighing out what's best for the community, is to make the community safe. And unfortunately, that means harsh punishments, long prison sentences. District Attorney Anita Howard sent a statement today saying she hopes the bill could allow appropriate discretion by prosecutors in the courts for offenders who agree to help the state by identifying gang leaders. As the bill is written, judges could order less prison time if the person is not a gang leader, has no prior felony conviction, or didn't cause death or injury. Frank? All right, thanks very much, Ashlyn. The bill also allows a prosecutor to appeal the judge's decision if they believe it's lenient.